how bad is it going to get? This is a question that comes up quite a lot in the tinnitus community, specifically with musicians, because they quite rightly say, if I continue being a musician, exposing myself to the sound, how bad is my tinnitus actually going to get? Every time this question comes up, I never feel like I've got a good reply. I don't say answer because I don't think there is an answer, but I feel really conscious of the fact that I've never got a reply that is helpful and also honest. And I've been thinking about this a lot recently. I've been thinking, how can I come up with a reply that I feel is actually helpful? And I realize that all I have to do is apply what I apply to myself when I worry how bad my tinnitus is going to get. All the advice that I share in my books and on these videos is not stuff that I've learned. It's stuff that I tell myself so that I can cope being a professional musician with severe tinnitus. And here it is. Instead of asking myself how bad it's going to get, I tell myself no matter how bad it gets, I know I'm going to be able to cope. And here's why. I'm going to be able to cope because every day I'm going to work on my mental health. I'm going to find my distractions, my comfort tools, and I'm going to be proactive. I'm going to label myself as a person with tinnitus so that I get proactive and find what works for me. This is why I think labeling myself as a person with tinnitus is the starting point. This is a slightly controversial point because people say you shouldn't label yourself as a person with tinnitus because it makes you focus on it too much. But for me, I think, why would I not label myself as a person with tinnitus? Because that's exactly what I am. And the reason why it's important is because by labeling myself like this, I'm saying, I am this, therefore I have to do this. And this is what I think is important. Finding your comfort tools that are specific to you. Finding your distractions that are specific to you. Filling your mind with positivity and positive thoughts. Because the stronger my mind is, the stronger I'm able to cope. And if I couple that with physical activity, going for me that means going for walks, getting fresh air, getting cardio, that strengthens both my mind and my body so that I know I can cope. I really believe in the quote by Nietzsche who says, where there is a why, a person can put up with any how. My why is my music. I love being a musician. I love me being a songwriter. I don't make sense unless I'm a musician. That's my why, together with my love of life, my family, being social. These things are my why, and I work on them so that I strengthen them. The how is the boring stuff. That's wearing earplugs, being careful of my volumes, wearing ear defenders sometimes when I'm traveling to shows on airplanes and trains. That's all the boring stuff. Remembering that I'm not the rock and roller that I was when, when I was in my early 20s and I could do anything with my music and I could go on for hours and hours and hours and not worry about my ears. That's the boring stuff. That's the how. But my why is stronger than my how. And by working on my why, keeping it strong, remembering it, focusing on it, it makes me get through the how, the boring stuff that I have to do every day. By focusing on these things, my distractions, my comfort tools, being proactive because I'm a person with tinnitus, it strengthens my mind so that again, I can go back to the same question all the time because tinnitus is fluid, it fluctuates, there's good periods and bad periods, but when I'm going through the bad periods and I'm asking myself, how bad is this going to get? My mind is strong, it's been worked on, so that I know I can reply to this question with, no matter how bad it gets, I know I'm going to be able to cope. And that's why I encourage people, find your comfort tools, find your distractions that are specific to you, mine are specific to me, find yours, strengthen your why, strengthen the positive in your mind, the positive in your life, strengthen it, work on it, just like a workout, because it allows you to go back to the start over and over again so that when you ask yourself, how bad is my tinnitus going to get? You can reply the same way. No matter how bad it gets, I know I'm going to be able to cope and here's why. So I hope this video was useful and it made sense. This is a brand new YouTube channel. I'm going to be sharing lots of tips and ideas on this. So if you did like this video, it'd really help me out. If you gave it a like or a comment, it just gets the video a bit more visibility. And if you fancy giving the channel a sub, that really helps as well. But for now, I want to say thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.